if you're calling in regards to secure access, this helpline is unable to help with any technical issues and you should complete a service request form which can be found on the department's website. You may find the answer to your query on our website which is... Good morning, welcome to the Department of Education. Tom speaking, how can we help? Oh, hi Tom, how are you today, mate? Yeah, get in there, mate, get in there. I've got a bit of a weird uh, question for you, Tom. Could you help me with a general inquiry? I can certainly try. Cheers, mate. Um, I am not with the um, kid's mum anymore. Um, I've got two young children, and she's going to take them on holiday without the school's approval. Yeah. Uh, can I get fined for it? Do you have a parental responsibility at all? Yeah, mate, yeah, I'm their dad. I'm on the birth certificate. You know, they're, they're my kids. Yeah, I've got PR, yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm, uh, okay, I'd, I'd take it to one. Do you live in the area? Or, um, was, forgive me for asking, but sort of what's your day-to-day involvement with, with the I'll, kids? I'll get to see them a couple of times a week. I'll get them every other weekend. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so, as you probably know, I mean, if they're absent for more than four days... Yeah. So if they're absent for more than four uh, days, whether it's whether that will be you directly, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. I'll just have to um, to look into that. Cheers, mate. Uh, so, so what are you thinking that? She is uh, basically, mate. She's going to take them on holiday. I'm not going. Yeah. I've got nothing to do with it. Um, and I've heard that I can be fined for her taking them on holiday. Uh, I mean, sorry, was it Tom? Tom, is there any other reasons that I could give the school to take them out so I don't get fined? Or is it literally the only reason you can take your kid out is, is because they're ill? Well, it's, it's essentially the guidance that schools have from ourselves is that, that they can allow for so-called exceptional circumstances. Holiday wouldn't be that, though, mate, would it? No, um, during term time. And it's the, from experience, from the calls we get, it's the schools across the board are generally um, defined, they say, some circumstances quite narrowly. Yeah. Um, so... Funeral stuff like that, I suppose, yeah? Yeah. I mean, essentially, probably only the reasons pretty much um, for, for a lengthy period of time. And, um, they're, they're very hesitant to let uh, to people, sorry, pupils have, have time off during, during time time. But yeah, know, yeah. In, in general. And I'm just sort of yeah. to come across a school who would allow it for, for a holiday. Yeah, yeah, got you. So the only reason you can, you know, a, a child should be off school really, you know, sort of like safely, legally, would be if they was ill. Gotcha, mate. Uh, um, and, and they tend to define that very, very narrowly. Yeah, from yeah. Experience. Just, just, um, because obviously, mate. I mean, you know, this is none of my doing, mate. And I, I'm a little bit concerned because I, I have been told by someone else that has, has had this um, that you know that both parents get fined, um, even if the, the the kids ain't living with me or anything to do with me. I'll still get. I've been told that. You know, I don't know if you're looking it up for me now. Is all I was going to say was, mate, was that, you know, if the only way out of me not getting fined was to say that they was ill, in, in court, they've got to prove that the kids were well to be able to fine me. I haven't got to prove that they're ill. The court has got to prove that they were well. The burden of proof would be on, the, on them. Yeah, I would imagine this school would want if yeah, you, you, you can have a stomach bug and not go to the doctors, mate. Sometimes you can't get a doctor's appointment for over a week anyway. Yeah. You know, if my, if my kid's got the trots, I don't need to take them to the doctors. I'll just wait until, uh, you know, they they firm up a little bit and send them back in. I mean, the other thing is, the uh, I think it's the World Health Organization and the Department of, of um, Health recommend that if your kid's got the trots or uh, vomiting, that they have three clear days. So if, for instance, the, on the Monday, the kid had 
the shits and then sort of like you know i've got a, your own guidelines state that i should keep them off for tuesday wednesday and thursday so you know that would be your four days really um and obviously uh if, if your kid's got diarrhea um and they're not actually unwell i don't see the point in taking them to the doctors you've still got to prove the court would have to prove that the kids were well you wouldn't have to prove that they are unwell because the burden of proof would be on the accuser, wouldn't it? Yeah, you can imagine I'm hesitant to advise on, on how to get around the, the guidance. Sorry? You, you, can, you, can, you would probably appreciate that I'm hesitant to give advice on how to um, get yeah. around the guidance. Yeah, it's the thing is though, mate, do you think it's fair that, um, you know, I'm not going on holiday, I'm not taking them on holiday, I get to see them for any decent amount of time every other weekend, and I'm going to get fined for it, is that fair? Yeah. Well, um, so they have to be up to more than four days anyway before any fines comes into it, but what I'd like to do, just do, is, is look into a bit further, if I, if I may, exactly where you sit, if you only see them on weekends and such. Yeah. And the see and your, your former partner there is the mother is normally the one who uh, looks make sure they go to school, etc., etc. Yeah, no worries, mate. I mean, is there a number I can give you a ring back on? No, well, can do. But what I was proposing is just if you have the time, I'll just put you on hold for for a, a couple of minutes. And yeah, no out. worries, mate. I can hold. I'm I'm just on a break at work, so uh, yeah, I can hold for a couple of minutes, mate. Yeah, I mean, if, if you got to go, you got to go. You can always call us back. Well, it's worth finding out, mate, because um, it's £100 pound a day, isn't it? Yeah. All right. One second, please. Thank you. Thanks. Hello, mate. Right, thanks for holding that for me. Appreciate it. Thank you, mate. Uh, yeah, I was just looking into what we have here, and it, it just seems to be that uh, that um, if, if you have parental responsibility in law, um, yep. then they could come after you as well. No worries, mate, no worries. Um, thanks for looking into that, mate. That's what I've been told. That's what I thought. I mean, I'll be honest with you, yeah. mate. It's um, th There's no other option but to call your kid in sick um, and then, you know, basically what I'd have to do is I'd have to uh, say to them the burden of proof would be on them to prove the child was well and not on me to prove the child was unwell because, you know, it's uh, innocent till proven guilty. Um, Tom, thanks very much for your time. You're welcome. Thanks for your call. Cheers, mate. Bye. Cheers, bye. Bye. There you go, folks. The only way you can do it, really, safely, is to um, call them in sick. Um, they would then have to prove that your child was well, and you wouldn't have to prove that your child was ill, because it, they've got to prove you are lying, not you prove that you are telling the truth. Yeah. Um, be careful, little things like, for instance, if you booked your holiday on a credit card or a bank card, something like that. There's, um, I think it's called the Investigative Powers Act. Uh, they brought it in a little while ago. Councils and stuff can use it, and they could look into your bank account and see if you've booked a holiday. And if obviously you've got pictures of you and your kids sort of like on a beach somewhere when they're supposed to be ill, that might help them a little bit as well. You just got to play it a little bit clever, you know. Try and make every day a holiday for your kids. I ain't bloody been on holiday for two years, but enough about my problems. <laughs>